massive server-wide space battles await you in the Overdrive event Phase 3. And we show you all the important informations you need to know about this. With the third round of the Overdrive initiative, we have to deal with the Xenothreat again in space combat. But this mission differs from the previous ones. And for anyone who has not yet completed all areas in the Overdrive event, they still have the possibility to continue Phase 1 and 2. And for Phase 3, we have to survive a total of 5 space battles. And since this is a server-wide mission, that means everyone can participate, you don't need any special equipment here. There are usually more than enough players on site. And here you also meet larger enemy groups of the Xenothreat, usually around 25 to 30 ships. The mission is again received by the mission manager under the general tab here on the priority. But you cannot share this mission, but have to accept it yourself. And there are different variants, so different places. This can happen to you that your team members have other missions than you do. But you can also play with them together, even if your mission is on a different location. But be careful, the progress of the mission is also completed if you are not in the area. Because the mission completion is also possible if you are not even close and other players do this for you. But if you are not in the area, then the mission fail for you. But don't worry, you get enough other missions of these. In order to successfully complete the mission, you have to be in the mission area while the battle is still going on. And best of all, turn off one or the other target. Basically, it is enough to be only in the mission area. The mission then switches accordingly. And even if you should die now, the mission will be counted positively for you. So the absolute minimum goal is to have been at least once in the mission area during the ongoing battle. For Phase 3, you will receive a total of 5 missions. And as soon as these are completed, you will not receive any more missions in the Overdrive Phase 3. But this does not prevent you from completing the mission together with your friends or other players if they are in a group. The enemy groups are considerable. But this is a server-wide event and there are several player accesses. Therefore, the targets with a number of about 30 Xenos Reds of different types of ships are usually switched off in a few minutes. Because the pure mass of players who currently complete the missions complete the Xenos Reds without any problems. So a special equipment or a special ship is therefore not necessary and even beginner ships can take part in the battle effectively. The only slightly larger threat are the various hammerheads. Nevertheless, the battles are well staged and promise a few minutes of fun for larger groups. But you do not have to plan in too much time for the 5 Thanos Red incursion missions. After about an hour, these are over. The mission locations are also randomly generated. In our case, we were lucky to be able to complete all 5 missions directly in the area around Crusader and the Rings of Yila. But missions in other locations are also possible, such in the area around Hurston or at the Lagrange points. Here you have to plan a slightly longer travel time. Therefore, our tip is to start the mission and accept them only when you are ready to depart in the ship. Otherwise, it can happen to you that the mission is completed before you are on site and is marked as failed for you. Because the location of the mission is also only told to you when you have accepted the mission. And since other players are also in the mission area, it can also be fast that you can act as a crime set. Because not everything that is displayed in red is automatically an opponent. For example, Players or you can quickly act as a red mark if you give a salve or other players, intentionally or unintentionally. You do not automatically receive a crime stat for this, but you are marked red for other players. If you now kill a target so another player in a monitored area, you will receive a crime stat yourself. The mission is then cancelled for you and you will not receive the mission until you are marked without a crime stat. Up to a crime state of 2, you can still pay for this on a console in a random landing zone to be put back on your fleet, whereby the mission is also offered to you again. For a crime state of 3, however, 
you now have the option to hack your crime set in the security post career, which usually also ends up in Clasher, or to give up directly and waste your time in the Clasher. So therefore the tip again, make sure not to automatically fire at all players that are red marked. All through, it happens again and again that PvP of team players also use the mission series for themselves to attack other players. And you can, of course, defend yourself and kill them. In summary, get ready for departure and take the mission afterwards. You got into the mission area and so automatically unlock the different mission steps. All in all, you need 5 missions for phase 3 and then the mission is no longer displayed to you. In a group, you can support players who still have the mission by simply flying to them at the respective mission location, as the mission is not shareable. If you can't manage to complete the mission you've already taken, that is, to get into the mission area before the last Xenoth threat is turned off, the mission will fail for you. But without consequences as you get more missions here until you have completed 5 times. And to secure your progress, again a tip. Go to the settings menu on the graphics and activate the QR code function here. With this QR code you can then take a screenshot of your mission progress in your history mission manager. So the completed 5 phase 3 missions. And this way you can undoubtedly prove that you have also successfully completed this phase 3. So see you at phase 4. Thanks for watching.